So I'm going to leave functions out of this discussion. We'll talk about that later. Uh, so this is just basic formulas in Excel. So your first rule is that all formulas or functions are going to start with an equal sign. So let's start with this basic formula here. What I'd like to do is I'd like to take uh, this cell, so B2 minus B3, and put the result in B4. So I'm going to click on B4. You're going to click on the cell you want to put the formula in. Then I'm going to type equals. Now, you could type in B2, and I'm going to do that for the first one. It's not case sensitive, so I'm simply going to type in B2, and then it highlights that cell for me. It references it. And then I would like to subtract from that, so I'm going to put in minus. And this time, instead of typing B3, I'm just going to show you a little trick. When your cursor is at a point you want to put in a cell reference, you can actually just click the cell and it will type it in for you. So once I have the formula in place, I'm just going to hit enter and then it displays the result of that formula. If instead I wanted to change it and I wanted to say B2 plus B3, well in that case, what I want to do is edit the formula. Now, to edit the formula, you could double click on it. It's going to go into the formula so you can edit it. Or you could use the formula bar up at the top. You notice I've just selected the cell, the result, and then there's my formula up top. I can click there and I'm going to get essentially the same result. So this time I'm going to do B2 plus B3. I'm going to hit enter or you could click the little check mark on your formula bar. Both are going to do the same thing. And the result again is displayed. Let's go over a couple more advanced ones. So we have uh, obviously the minus to subtract. We have the plus to add. Uh, let's do a multiplication here. So I have a unit price and a quantity, and I like to display a total. So I want to take this cell times this cell and put the result here. So equals, I'm going to click on this cell. Multiplication is done with an asterisk. We don't want to use an X here. Excel is going to get confused. So we want to use the asterisk. I can click the next cell. So take this cell, multiply it by this cell, put it in as the result. I'm going to hit enter and away you go. Division can be done this way. So I'm going to go over here and say equals total number of kilometers traveled. So E1, and that is represented by a forward slash. Uh, that's how you put in division. And then the next uh, number of hours it took me to travel that distance, enter, and there's your average speed. We could also do uh, exponents in Excel. So if I had, let's say, the width of a cube and I wanted to calculate its volume, we could say equals this cell, and then I want to essentially do exponent three. So to do an exponent, you put in the little hat symbol, and that one's usually found above the number six. You have a little hat symbol there. And then I can put what exponent I want to use. You hit enter, and you get the result. So that's how you can do uh, an exponent in Excel. So there you have it. That's how you do some basic formulas. We'll talk about functions later on. Functions essentially are going to get uh, advanced formulas. Uh, they're going to simplify them and allow us to use these additional uh, functions that will essentially do some more advanced calculations. But we'll talk about those in other videos. For now, this is kind of the base on how you would create a formula in Excel. Go give it a shot and good luck.